So, my fellows, I wasn't ready to speak about this story, but because it's a touching story and each and every one is all over the internet just to get to know whatever had happened or whatever is happening at the moment about our athletics. And by Ali Win, Ali Win races Flan and Bazo, they kept a world record all over. You may be the minister and could at least so that I can analyze whatever has happened. Because uh, for sure there's a lot of false stories that are rounding in uh, they are rounding in the internet ukweli na uongo and make it worse now the family imekuwa mahali ambapo kikweli they need a support from the government let me say that they need a support from the government they need a support from neighbors they need support from you and me ni kitu cha kushangaza in a way that unapata huyu mtu alikuwa ni mtu maarufu na ni mtu ambaye anajulikana dunia nzima acha niseme hivyo na ile rekodi yake ambayo alikuwa ameiweka ni record ambayo ilikuwa dunia nzima na isitoshe ni mtu ambaye he was heading to make another big statement in the world lakini sasa kwa sababu kuna competition there's something called competition competition always una compete wewe na mwenzako na competition always has no friendship Competition always ikona grudge. Siku zote kama una compete na mwenzako, either football, either studies, either anything that you are going to compete with other fellow. Just get to know that there's grudge in between. Hata kama mkionana atakuonyesha sura ya upendo, sura ya tabasam, just get to know that kuna kiroho fulani kinasema ya kwamba naomba huyu afanikiwe hivi na hivi at least ili asifanikiwe. So kuna huyu Kevin Kitums mzee kutoka Kenya. This guy died on road accident. Lakini kitu cha kushtua zaidi ile road accident ambayo inasemekana kulingana na first statement ambayo ilitoka ni kwamba jamaa alikuwa ana over speed akagonga mti. Alipogonga mti gari yake ikafanya nini? Ikajana na the guy died. But whatever we know, watu si wajinga. There are there people who knows how to drive vehicles. And there are there people who got into accidents once before. Sasa hawa watu wamepata ajali ama vile ambavyo tunajua each and every car kila gari not unless hiyo gari ni KAA huko na kama ni KAA kwa hizo gari zinaenda inspection na kila gari lazima iko na kitu inaitwa airbag so if a vehicle doesn't have an airbag huwa iken inspection inakataliwa hiyo gari mpaka iko airbag sasa gari ya huyu jamaa lazima ilikuwa na airbag kitu kushangaza cha kwanza the airbag did not blow zile airbag hazikutoka na gari kipata ajali tunajua airbag inatoka hata kwa ruzo tu hapa mbele ipigwe tu hivi bahati mbaya tu gari ipigwe tu hivi na mti kidogo hata si lazima ikunjane hata si lazima ivunjike kidogo tu ile shock flani hivi airbag itakao imagine hii gari ligongwa mpaka kuisha na hakuna airbag ilitoka sababu airbag inasaidia ukava mtu to protect mtu asiumie na protect mtu aweze ku breathe protect mtu asiweze kuwa injured na vile vio na zile kwa hizo vitu ambavyo vina happen kwa hiyo accident ile airbag inasaidia na kuna gari zina na airbag paka za nyuma we know it but sasa cha kushangaza hii gari hatukuona another thing ni kwamba hii gari kama ilikuwa inaenda mbele how come ile gari kama imegongwa na mti mbona iliumia nyuma haikuumia mbele how we have to ask ourselves these questions mbona ile gari iliumia we don't say that there's someone who killed him but we are just asking ourselves about whatever happened gari imegonga mti lakini mbele hakukumia nyuma ndo kuliumia does it mean that this guy was driving uh, reverse jamaa alikuwa na reverse hiyo gari ndio ikagonga mti na kama ilikuwa na gonga mti hiyo reverse ilikuwa ya speed gani sana mpaka hiyo gari ikagonga mti in that way ikagonga mti mpaka ikavunjika hivyo hiyo gari ilikuwa na speed gani sana jamani let's be realistic tuongee kitu kingine ambacho kimeniuma zaidi jana there's a lady anajitokezea anasema kwamba they used to date with this guy that i used to date with this guy mpaka tu namuingilia anasema mbona hiyo time akiwa iko hai huko unatuonyesha hizi picha hiyo time alikuwa iko hai mbona ulikuwa wizi picha hautuonyeshi tukajua kwamba you used to date mbona mpaka sasa amefariki ndo unatuonyesha hizi picha and the girl was like amjui kile mnachoongea mimi ndo najua kile sasa wewe msichana na wewe pia like seriously ukija ukisema hivyo mbele ya family yao ama ukija ukisema hivyo kwenye mtandao what do you think the family gonna take you about na familia yako itakufikiria vipi 
do you want to tell us that you know whatever happened? Nafikiri polisi wanafaa mshike msichana anze kujiulia whatever happened. Msichana labda anajua maybe she knows something kwa sababu tunaambiwa paka kwa hiyo gari kuko na msichana but hawawili uh, huyu jamaa mwenye amededi Kevin na coach wake walifariki but the lady who was inside alitoka pale hata injari akupata after hiyo gari kugongwa gongwa vile hata injari moja huyo msichana alikuwa pale gari akupata we have to ask ourselves that's another question we have to ask ourselves ajali ni ajali kifo ni kifo ila mtu anafariki mahali popote pale ambapo Mwenyezi Mungu amwekea kifo chake atapata na ajali lakini kuna vifo tatanishi hivi vifo tatanishi inafika wakati people are discussing on these deaths i manisha that they don't accept that death of course they accept we have to accept death kwa sababu iko na kila mtu atafariki na siku yake but wazi niambia kesho mimi nenda compete na mtu fulani alafu leo <laughs> This guy was supposed to go and compete in marathon on April. April mwezi wa 4, alikuwa anafanya ndaka compete marathon kubwa. Marathon kubwa ambayo labda ange win, ingemweka place nyingine tofauti sana. How do we know that wale wa usika ambao walikuwa nda compete nao ndo walifanya firigisi figisi hapo, figisi fugisi hapo wakaenda wakamchapanisha. How do we know? How sure are we? Just the other day, three days before the accident, siku tatu kabla hiyo ajali three men zile patikana kwenda kwao kuondana na babaki Kevin babaki huyu ambaye amfariki but no one knows whatever they had gone there to do after three days akapata ajali akafariki oh no me thank god wameshikwa sasa hivi wamekuwa ndani ile ulizwe gari kwa mefuata kule gari kwa ndani yule baba yule baba simame aambie the reality whatever this guy came for kwa sababu akiulizwa anasema they just came to ask for Kevin. But lazima kuna story behind. Of course kama tunavyojua sisi wa Kenya wengi sana hakuna mtu yote maarufu ambaye atafariki Kenya ama Uganda Tanzania especially East Africa watu wakubali tu rosa atasema okay amekufa na Mungu wake. Inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun na maisha isonge. Lazima kutakuwa na story behind. But for me was it true is a story for me wa But sasa hii ya huyu imenishi think government can intervene this wale watoto ambao wameachwa kwa sababu the whole family of this guy walikuwa wamemtegemea kwa daily bread saka ma government ita pump hiyo family itafutia hata watu wawili job think watakuwa wamefanya kitu kingine super sana hata sisi pia kama itawezekana if this family gonna give out kitu kama pay bill to support either kid of that person and then nakusoma kama alikuwa anasoma that is my 100 shillings and your 100 shilling and help somewhere iki tunaongea na uchungu sana kwa sababu kiva viatu ujifanye kama wewe ndio mhusika wa hiyo family ama you are one of the family members alafu uangalie scenario mpaka kafikia kile kitu ambacho kimetokea ni kweli utasikia kuumia sana ukiangalia ni mtu ambaye alikuwa ameshikilia family hivi ni mtu ambaye alikuwa na maono ni mtu ambaye alikuwa ni mdugu ambaye alikuwa na maono makubwa ni mtu ambaye the guy was tired some akifanya vitu vyake na zoezi kila wakati akifikiria tu marathon competition na bati na compete no way no way atuwezi 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 bebo na tukakubali hivi they have to say it clearly mbona kama serikali imefanya makosa kile mtu anaenda na simikiza serikali 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 na sasa kama ni mtu wa kawaida ambaye yuko kwenye serikali people have to stand up and speak about it So I'm sorry guys if I've offended anyone about this but for me I decided to come up with this story because it's not an easy thing for everyone to accept.